Hi everyone, welcome to this installation guide for the Apexto H200S Hydro Cooling Suite. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire installation process, step by step to help ensure safe, reliable and efficient operation. Let's start by preparing the installation site. You'll receive two main packages the rack and the dry cooler. Move them carefully to a flat, stable surface using a forklift, to avoid impacts or tipping. Once unboxed secure the rack's adjustable feet, using the included M8 screws. Important Notes Maintain at least 2 meters about 6.5 feet of clearance between the dry cooler and the rack. Make sure the dry cooler's air intake and exhaust are completely unobstructed. As soon as you receive your shipment, inspect the packaging for any damage. If you find any, report it immediately and document it for the carrier. Next let's connect the piping between the dry cooler, the dry cooler and the rack. First check the pressure gauge on the dry cooler. A reading above zero confirms the system's initial integrity. Slowly open the air bleed valve to vent any residual gas. Once venting is complete you can connect the piping. All DN50 sealing gaskets and clamps are pre-installed. Handle them carefully when disconnecting, so you can reuse them. Connect the DN65 stainless steel corrugated pipes exactly as shown. Now let's install the reservoir. Mount the reservoir in its designated position, at the top of the rack using the pre-installed screws, just reuse them directly. Connect the reservoir's outlet to the fill port on the top of the rack. At this stage make sure all valves remain closed. Step 5. Important. Electrical work must be performed by a qualified electrician. First. Ensure all circuit breakers are in the off position. Open the rear panel of the rack's electrical cabinet. The electrician will connect the main power cable to the system's main breaker and the dry cooler's fan power cables. Plug the ethernet cable into any available switch port. Once all wiring is complete, close the main circuit breaker first, then any secondary breakers as needed. Now let's install the miners. 1. Carefully slide the miners into their slots in the rack. 2. Connect the coolant inlet and outlet hoses matching the labeled ports. 3. Open the corresponding inlet and outlet valves for each miner. Time to fill the system with coolant and remove trapped air. Ensure the main power is off before starting. 1. Open all four valves on the reservoir. 2. Using a pump, fill the reservoir from an external container until the liquid level stabilizes, approximate 250 liters. This will gravity fill most of the system. 3. Reconfigure the reservoir connections as shown in the schematic to use the built-in pump. Four, close the pump circuit breaker. QF38 to start circulation. The liquid level will drop keep adding coolant to maintain the level. 5. Watch the dry cooler's bleed valve closely. Once you see a steady bubble-free flow of coolant, close the bleed valve immediately. 6. Continue adding coolant until the reservoir level remains stable. 7. When done turn off the system's main power supply. Next connect each miner's power and network cables.
startup sequence. 1. Turn on the main power. 2. Turn on the fan circuit. 3. Turn on the pump circuit. 4. Finally power on the miners. Shutdown sequence is the reverse. Once started follow your Antminer Hydro Models manual. To configure mining pool settings. During initial operation, you might encounter these common issues. High temperature difference, delta T, will be due to pump running in reverse. Or excessive height difference between rack and dry cooler. Pipeline leak. Carefully inspect all pipe connections and valves. Low temperature protection error. If your miners fail to start in cold conditions, the new H200S comes with a built-in bypass valve that lets you preheat the coolant using an external heater. Contact Apexto if you need a heater. Once hardware setup is complete, let's look at the control system panel. You can customize the interface language and view real-time status for all loop components. On the home screen, click settings to adjust the target temperature for your Antminer Hydro model. You can also view alarms, historical temperature charts and other system details. That wraps up our installation guide for the Apexto H200S Hydrocooling Suite. Ready to get yours? Visit the shop page on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Apexto product videos and technical guide. Thanks for watching we'll see you next time.